Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, UAS Registration Task Force is in place, Quebec government buys into Bombardier, fear of litigation destroys an airplane. I'm Brie Cross, it's November 3rd, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The FAA Administrator Michael Huerta has announced the membership of the Unmanned Aircraft System Registration Task Force. Earl Lawrence, Director of the FAA's UAS Integration Office, and Dave Voss of Google X will co-chair the group. Department of Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox and Administrator Huerta announced the formation of the task force last week. Task force membership was by invitation only and participation is voluntary. The task force now consists of 25 stakeholders along with 10 federal entities. Secretary Fox set a deadline of November 20th for the task force to complete its recommendations and work is already underway. The group is meeting formally this week before developing recommendations on a streamlined registration process. With this many stakeholders and federal entities involved, it reminds us of the old joke that the camel was created by a committee trying to design a horse. We'll keep you posted on how this works out. It appears like the Quebec government has entered into a bailout agreement with Bombardier to keep its C-Series program afloat. Minister of the Economy, Innovation and Exports in Quebec, Jacques Doust, has announced the signing of a partnership with Bombardier to form a limited partnership to complete the C-Series program. After investing $1 billion U.S. dollars, the Quebec government will hold a 49.5% stake in the new company. Minister Doust said in part, quote, The entire community will reap the rewards of the new partnership. This move will also keep the C-Series operations here in Quebec for at least another 20 years, end quote. The investment, the first of its kind in the aerospace industry, fits with the government's new business model of acting as a partner rather than a granting agency. Minister Doust added, quote, Today we are seizing a unique opportunity to join forces with a company that epitomizes engineering innovation in Quebec. For the Quebec government, it is critical that the aircraft industry continue to develop and prosper here, end quote. After the break, it was a great plane. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Over the years, airplane home builders have been concerned about the liability they might incur because they are listed as the manufacturer of the airplane that they built. It's obvious that when the builder pilot is operating the airplane, there's a certain level of liability that must be assumed, but the question has been, if the owner sells the airplane, what liability continues to remain with the builder? One pilot has expressed this concern in a dramatic way. He has produced a YouTube video dramatically showing the destruction of his RV-8 home-built airplane. The airplane has been safely flying for 10 years, but after consulting with aviation attorneys and other experts regarding the builder's liability, the owner concluded there was only one way out. The video is compelling and disturbing, and almost no one can watch it without feeling anger towards a legal system that places us in a situation like this. The threat of facing financial disaster resulting from a successful lawsuit is not the only concern for the builder. The litigation alone, whether it's successful or not, can break the bank. It's time we need to take a strong look, not just at aviation liability, but of all cases where the threat of the suit alone is enough to cause the drastic action shown in this video. Something in our liability litigation system is simply not right. 
Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here is this week's Aero Calendar. We're giving you a little extra notice on our first event because it's so important. MBAA's Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition takes place in Las Vegas, Nevada on November 17th through the 19th. It will bring together 25,000 key aviation contacts from around the world, including current and prospective business aircraft owners, manufacturers, and customers, into one meeting place. If you can't make it there, ANN will bring you the latest updates daily. You've got to love an air show that calls itself the French Valley Wings and Wine Air Show. That is a one-day event being held on November 7th in Murrieta, California. This is a first-time event that is filled with thrills and entertainment for all to see. You'll see military warplane flybys, adrenaline-pumping skydiving maneuvers, and aerobatic stunt pilots. Of course, there's also a lot of food to go along with the wine tasting. On the weekend of November 6th and 7th, we have a homecoming of a different kind with the NAS Pensacola Blue Angels Homecoming Air Show. As the name implies, it will be held at the Naval Air Station in Pensacola, Florida. Along with the Navy Blue Angels, there are lots of other great performers, and they are forecasting a spectacular Friday night air show. Also on the weekend of November 6th and 7th is the Warbirds Over Monroe event being held at the Charlotte Monroe Executive Airport in Monroe, North Carolina. As the name implies, the air show will feature World War II-era aircraft, and it includes a full-blown air show by some of the country's best aerobatic performers. After these messages, China accused of stealing jet engine technology. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Two people attempted to acquire and export an MQ-9 Reaper and several advanced military engines to China, according to court documents unsealed in Florida last week. They had also attempted to acquire a Pratt & Whitney F-119 engine and a GE-110 engine. General Aviation Piston Engine Industry veteran Bill Ross has joined Superior Air Parts as Vice President of Product Support. Ross is recognized for his multifaceted background in the industry, as well as real-world flying and maintenance experience. The FAA has issued a Part 25 ADSB Out Supplemental Type Certificate for the Learjet 60. It applies to the GTX 3000 Mode S Extender Squitter Transponder and GDL 88 ADSB Data Link combination to fulfill global ADSB requirement. An American Airlines Airbus A321 on approach to San Diego was targeted by someone on the ground with a laser last week. Thousands of these occurrences have been reported, despite efforts to inform the public of the dangers involved. An airworthiness directive has been revised for the Gibbs Aero Air Van Model GA-8TC-320 airplanes. This AD was prompted by reports of missing required engine mount fire seal washers, which could reduce the engine retention capability in the event of a fire. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Pilots flying the F-35 will be equipped with what is described as the most advanced and expensive helmet ever developed for the U.S. military. The helmets are estimated to cost about $400,000 each. 
The Air Force Times indicates that the Pentagon will spend about $1 billion just for the helmets alone. This high dollar technology allows the pilots to virtually see through the airplane. The helmet is connected to six cameras that are part of the skin of the aircraft that gives the pilot a virtual 360 degree view of the airspace surrounding the plane. It also has advanced night vision capabilities and the heads up display projects directly onto the visor. Air Force Chief of Staff General Mark Welsh said that the helmet essentially becomes a workspace and gives the pilots far more capability than they have had in any previous airplane. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.